Nitrogen, in its most common form as a gas, most of us know that. But when it's cooled down below 300 degrees Fahrenheit, something amazing happens. It becomes a liquid. And that very liquid has become a very popular trend. Restaurants and other food places are using freezing liquid nitrogen to instant freeze food. Let's go to Chillin' Nitrogen Ice Cream to see what happens when nitrogen meets ice cream. This is real ice cream. The texture is smooth, it's cold, it's consistent, excellent. So walk me through a problem how you make this the liquid nitrogen ice cream. Okay, so it starts off as like the base. It starts off as like a liquid is cream, sugar, milk, and vanilla bean. And then we add in the flavor. Like let's say you want Nutella, we throw scoop of Nutella in and then mix it in on a mixture that freeze at the same time. And then we scoop it and like if you want like caramel on top, you throw caramel on top for you anything you want basically. Are there some safety concerns you have while eating the ice cream? Eating ice cream, no. Making ice cream a little bit because the nitrogen does tend to splash on you, but no serious injuries happen. Like you yeah, like a little sting, like a piece thing, but it's nothing to make sure. Gotcha. So um, usually how long does it take to be able to make this ice cream? Making it like two to three minutes, but if it's like really busy, sometimes it takes like five because each ice cream takes a certain amount of time, so it builds up. And how long does like training take? Training, you get trained for three days, which is like three to five hour shifts. By then you usually get the hang of it, then you're an official member. Don't forget to check out Chillin'. It is a great place for a fun treat. Now, let's take a scientific look at why exactly liquid nitrogen ice cream can be considered better than normal ice cream. Well, I think the most important thing is that when you taste the ice cream that's made with liquid nitrogen, it always seems to taste a little creamier and a little fresher um, and a little I guess almost like a custard would taste, a little denser and thicker. And really that has to do with the way that the liquid nitrogen ice cream forms and kind of flash freezes the cream that you have versus when you do conventional ice cream where you're you know churning it, putting it in the freezer, and then when you put it in the freezer, you're constantly getting these ice crystals that are forming. When you use the liquid nitrogen, because it's at such a cold temperature, it pretty much flash freezes it, so you don't have the ability for those ice crystals to build up. Ooh, well, you know how they talk about it burning your hands? Well, what you're feeling is that, that sensation because it's just so cold that you would have an issue. It would kind of, it could, in a sense, kind of freeze almost your inside, possibly perforate different um, parts of your organs. Um, could be some pretty serious issues. But in general, liquid nitrogen, odorless, um, if you allow it to um, be gaseous again, it's not an issue for you. And that's why eating the ice cream is perfectly safe. The only time people seem to have a problem is if they don't handle it correctly, burn their hands, uh, drink it in a way that they're not supposed to. And I would suggest that if you're going to make liquid nitrogen ice cream, that the best thing to do is go to a place that produces it professionally, like Chillin' or one of those kind of places, and it's rather tasty. Liquid nitrogen can be dangerous, but that does not mean that with the proper safeguards, you can make delicious foods. Don't be afraid of liquid nitrogen, just because one or two people have been irresponsible with it. This has been Felipe Bautista reporting for Spartan TV Miami, and goodbye.